What's going on guys? I'm Andrew from ECS Tuning and I've got some great news for you today. We're giving away another car. This time it's an Audi, a B8 Audi S4. This thing's gonna sound killer, it's gonna ride great, and it's gonna perform like a beast. I'm gonna hop in it right now, see how it is in stock form, give you guys some of my impressions, and then we're gonna start throwing mods on this thing. So this is Kevin, he's our R&D for Audi. He's kind of doing a roll here in the DSG car, so we'll do second gear. There you get a little bit harder. more dirt. There it is. Me and Kev are back here at the shop. We just had a great drive in a B8 S4 in its stock form, but now we've got to get to the nitty gritty. What's the first thing you do when you get a pre-owned car? Burnouts? No, not burnouts. Don't listen to Kev. It's not burnout. It's maintenance. So we've got a ton of parts here today, and we're gonna be doing maintenance on the B8 S4 to make sure it's in top-notch condition for when one of you guys win it. All right, Matthew, what are we doing here? All right, so we gotta wait 10 minutes so the liquid molly engine flush can clean out all the particulate and uh, all the deposits in the oil system. That way we can get it all out. Our oil tanks just gonna run nice and smooth afterward. All right, so we just got done doing uh, our stock runs for the B8 S4, so we have a baseline after we're done installing all the 034 parts uh, for our power. Uh, and it looks like we made 305 torque and 313 horsepower to the wheels, so that's pretty good for stock numbers. Uh, we'll see what it makes when all the parts are installed. And now we're gonna move on to some motor stuff. So normally the factory mounts, they have a bunch of voids inside of them and they're fluid filled, so you get a bunch of motion from that. 034 has gone ahead and filled all those voids with a 65A durometer rubber. Uh, so we're gonna increase our stiffness, help with our throttle response, help get power to the ground better, and remove that failure mode, essentially. All right, so now that we have the motor mounts in, it's time to start on the fun stuff. Uh, the 034 Motorsport unit is a dual pass unit, so we have flow coming in the bottom, across again, and then out, back up into the supercharger. Uh, so this is going to keep us nice and cool and keep our engine from pulling timing. So as you can see the difference here, uh, we're going much bigger on the crank pulley for the supercharger drive. It's kind of like a bicycle, the front gear on a mountain bike. You want the bigger gear up front to spin it faster. Um, we're going to be pairing that with the supercharger pulley up top, which we want smaller, so that also spins it faster. So we heat it up because this is an interference fit, so normally the pulley won't go onto the supercharger snout. Uh, the diameter is just too small, so factory is the same, same type of fit. That's why you have to have a puller to take it off the interference press fit. Well, with all the power that we're adding, it needs to be able to stop. The brakes on the S4 are pretty good to begin with, but the StopTech brakes are a much larger diameter and are uh, six pistons instead of, this is just a single large piston, it's a floating caliper. 
What I like to see is a pad that stops really good and you don't get a lot of uh, like brake fade, but also doesn't make a ton of noise. And it seems like Hawks do that pretty well. All right, so we'll start off with the coilovers. These are a KW V3. So with the V3, you're gonna get uh, not only compression adjustment, but also dampening. Uh, they're a coated body for corrosion resistance. Um, KW's done a lot of testing and tuning. Each set gets endurance tested before they send them out. Uh, so these are gonna be a nice kind of in between for a track versus street. It's gonna be comfortable, but perform well um, and allow you to kind of dial in things the way you want them. All right, we are back with the VA build. We have one more big step to complete to give it away at this point, and it's gonna be the exterior part. So, first thing we're gonna be doing is wrapping it. Second, we're gonna be putting on a bunch of ABS vacuum form plastic stuff. So the front lips, the tr trunk spoilers, side skirts. Uh, but first of all, I wanna talk about the wheels. Rotoform sent us this BUC-M set of wheels. They're 19 by eight and a half, and we have wrapped that in a Goodyear Eagle from Tire Source. 255, so you got plenty of meat on there, all season tire for wherever you live. And the best part about these wheels, you can change the look pretty much whenever you want. We ran a peak on that run of 399 foot-pounds of torque and 423 foot-pounds, or sorry, uh, wheel horsepower.
And Devin! 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 All right, guys, that wraps it up for the B8 S4 sweepstakes car. Thanks to all of you who entered, and a huge thanks to all of our amazing sponsors that helped put this car together. And a big congratulations to the awesome winner, Debra, who I think is gonna be launching this thing, sliding it all winter long. I mean, Debra's gonna have a blast in this beast. So without further ado, I think it's time for me to hop in this thing, drive out to Debra's, and give her this sick ride. <laughs>